welcome back to another exciting, sizzling episode of Lions Cricket TV. I am your host, Ms. Sikhopoe. Now on today's show, you get to walk the journey with me, ball by ball, boundary by boundary, as we shine a light on women's cricket. And today, we follow the Imperial Lions women's team and we find out what they're about. So, have a look at this. On today's show, we are at the photo shoot of the Imperial Lions women's team and we speak with spin bowler Raisi Bendozake, aka Slice, about her journey with the national team. The Imperial Lions women's photo shoot took place at the Wanderers and I had the great honour of having a conversation with some of the players and the coach ahead of the new season ahead. Let's have a look. Yolani, the photo shoot is happening at the moment. Um, tell me about the new kit and your thoughts on the kit. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. Um, it's a day before we go into the bubble, but it's quite exciting. It's All the girls are smiling, all the clothes are fitting. It's definitely beautiful and it's exciting to have the same clothing as the Lions or the men's as well. It's very exciting. Um, I actually figured out that I've been playing for um, CGL for 21 years, which is mildly terrifying. If people are good at math, they'll realize, and this is by far my favorite kit. Um, I'm still the same size, which is probably, you know, <laughs> not as concerning as the age part, but very exciting. It looks wonderful. Uh, the yellow is going to be quite exciting. Might need to play with some sunglasses, um, but it's very exciting. I think as I just love it. It's great, hey, it's great. They put a lot of effort on it and I just love it. And is this a match winning and tournament winning oh, kit? Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. Are we bringing the trophy, eh? Coach, how excited are you of the new season ahead? As the Imperial Lions woman, we are very excited for this season. Obviously COVID was tough on us for the last 18 months, but we're just happy to get on the park again and play a bit of cricket against some of the top unions within Cricket South Africa, especially on the women's side. I'm very excited to be honest. Um, I played a few seasons for the Gauteng. It's good to be back maybe after two years. Um, I'm really excited to, to join the girls. I'm just looking to just play my game, you know, express myself from what they've taught me. I'm looking forward to take it to the game, play with my team, be a team player. I think having fun, because last season I, I, we didn't experience a lot of that. Um, again, scoring runs, most importantly, um, changing my average. And let's talk about the preparations heading into the season. Uh, we've done a lot of preparations. We've been starting since end of June. A lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions, a lot of conditioning sessions with our SNC, a lot of uh, team building sessions as well. We've had our trip to Sun City uh, about two weeks ago. So the ladies are looking very much forward to, to challenging the other unions and, and, and fighting for that number one spot. And as a coach, what would you like to see unfold on the pitch? I think as a coach, we would like to see all the stuff that we've done in the preparations behind the scenes that coming to, to part and actually making sure that we get over that, that line and making sure we get the, the winning on, on our side. We also want to make sure that we our players personally excel on their personal goals and as a team we have got our goals but we want to make sure that we tick all those boxes and making sure we excel in all forms. What has been the changes that you've seen over the years, especially being part of the team for so many years? I think the development of the club structure has been quite great. Uh, there's a lot more goals, the com competition is fantastic. Uh, back in the day, Provincial was the only you know, women's setup that there was, so there was a small pool of goals. Now you're having to pick from 50, 60 goals, so that's very exciting. The talent coming through is fantastic. The younger girls now having an opportunity to play Provincial cricket with SA players is also you know, going to up the, up the game quite quickly, so it's very exciting. Firstly, Dumi, let me officially welcome you to the Imperial Lions team. How does it feel to be part of the team? I'm very excited to join the Imperial Lions. Um, I just, I'm just looking forward to having fun with the girls and, you know, just being closer to home. And your motivation from moving from Northwest Dragons right to Imperial Lions, what motivated that? Uh, me playing for the Pro Tiers and travelling, I couldn't be um, close to family, so I really wanted to be close to my family. You know, it gets a bit tough there and it's mentally draining sometimes, so yeah, I just wanted to be closer to home. I had the honour and privilege of having an exclusive conversation with Raisibe Slice and Dozake about her journey on and off the field as a professional cricketer. It was a really good conversation, so check this out.
Today we're going to be having an interesting but in-depth conversation with Raisi Bentozake. She is an offspin bowler for the Lions Woman Squad and I'm so excited to be hopping on to this conversation. Slice, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Cheers, and how are cheers. You? cheers. Are you looking forward to this conversation? Yes, I am. Let's talk about when cricket bit you and why the transition and why the decision to go into cricket? So um, I went to ski in primary school at Alex. Uh, my class teacher was actually the person that was handling the Baker's Mini Cricket program at that time. And I said to her, I got fascinated by the equipment. I was like, oh, this is so exciting. I'm playing too much soccer. So I went to her, I'm like, how oh, man, can I please join? She was like, yeah, it's going to be fun. Plus, you'll be the only girl there. So I started cricket with just playing with boys, um, attended Games here at the Wanderers at a very young age. Mm -hmm. Got an opportunity to hold A.B. De Villiers' hand. Where during the first IPL, I was a ball girl. And that's when I was like, ooh, I, I want to be like him. I, I just want to be like him. I want to play in the stadium. And I went home. But with that, I was playing soccer as well. So uh, I was playing with boys all the time. And I played soccer for the ladies team at Alex and then my mom at, at some stage is like, so tell me, what's going to happen one Saturday you have a cricket match and then you have a soccer match, how are you going to do it? And I, just, I looked at it, I'm like, ish. So now I must choose. She's like, yeah, pick one. And I was like, okay, that's cool. I'll pick cricket. Yeah. She was like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I'll pick cricket, don't worry. And I never looked back since then. In your debut for, for, for Lions Women, I mean, obviously you were playing in a lower league, but w how did that happen? Did you go through trials? And t tell us about that process. Um, so I, I was not exposed to female cricket until I was eight years old when I was invited to trial for the under-13s team, the Gauteng under-13s team. And I was like, oh, it actually bored me, girls cricket, because I was used to being with the boys. It was always hard, they hit the ball hard. Um, everything was just too quick. So it was boring at first, and then I was like, you, you are a girl, you're still gonna play with them. So yeah. get used to the environment, get used to everything. Play as hard as you can like you did with the boys, but you'll adjust the mentality that this is the, this is the ladies' team. Then from then, under 13, under 16, under 19, and then I played under 19 when I was 11 to 12 years old. And I made SA Schools the very first time I joined the under-19 team. Oh, wow. Yeah, three years in a row. Slice, as she is affectionately called, found herself suspended from international cricket after being reported at the ICC Women's Championships in Barbados. And this took its toll on the player. It was a hard pill to swallow. Um, I think that was the deepest uh, moment that I had with myself. Um, it, it, it was an emotional, it was very stressful. It took a whole toll on me, um, emotionally, mentally, even physically, because I was overstressing. I lost a lot of weight. I was thinking a lot, what if I'm not gonna play for my country again? Although the, yes, it's fun to play. I, I love playing for my province, but having to experience the green and gold and to see the, all the hard work that I've put in, and then now everything just shut down. Um, I, had, I, I had a lot of stress and anxiety. Uh, got a whole lot of depression. I would lock myself at my at my place. Don't go, don't go out. Um, just sit and think and think and think and think. So I closed everybody all out. I I literally did that, and it was just a whole emotional toll. And I, I didn't really know what to do with myself. Ndozake got to work and started remodeling her bowling technique. And with the help from the likes of the Momentum Proteus head coach Hilton Moreng, Vincent Barnes and Tandi Shabalala. Slice was well on course to see herself representing her country once again. Two weeks later, ne? Yeah. after you got tested, who gave you a call? What was your reaction? How were you feeling? Funny enough, my, uh, I'm a cricket coach, so I, my goals were playing. I was empiring. Then I get a call from Vincent Barnes. He was shouting, he was all over the place, Slice, you cleared, Slice, Slice, you cleared. I'm like, coach, wait, what? <laughs> slice, you cleared, you passed, you passed, Slice. The excitement through his leg. I'm wow. jumping around in the office now. I was so excited. I, I did, I, I think I only two tears just fell out yeah. of my face. And I was just <laughs> like, oh my word, are you serious? He was like, Slice, you passed, you did it. Your career is back on track now. It has been a journey itself from that little kid to the adult that I am now, and I'm still in the, with the, within the same union mm. for all of those years. So yeah, 
it's it's awesome. It feels awesome to 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 be part of this family. It it means a lot to me. It's it's, it's something that I hold dear to my heart because it, this is the the union that made slice. Yeah. Yeah. And just like that, another successful episode done and dusted and in the bag. Remember to hit us up on all our social media platforms as we would love to hear from you. But from me and everybody that's part of this amazing team, we'll see you guys on the next episode.